What's up, you mighty Morphin Montiversers, and welcome back to another Morphin Monday. As we continue Nikki's first time watch through of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and today we are on episode 48, Plague of the Mantis. Nikki, are you ready? I am ready, and I don't have a pun ready for that. Perfect. We don't need one. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> let's start episode 48, season one of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers right now. Are you saying you don't like my brand of humor? Yes. I think puns are like the lowest form of comedy. <laughs> Even when they're punny? <sighs> puns are like the Zordon of comedy. Ooh. They just wait until everything else has been thrown out and then they decide to chime in. That, that That's painfully accurate now that you say it that way. Yeah. The beef with Zord my beef with Zordon continues. I, I wonder what it would be like if you ever met him in person. If I ever met Zordon of Eltar in person, I'd be like, dude, you suck. <laughs> and you don't think you're gonna face any repercussions for that. What is he gonna do? Like I don't know, sick the rangers on you. <laughs> dude, I am a ranger. Whoa. Plot twist. Very good episode. Ooh, you remember this one. Of course I remember this one. This episode is heavily referenced in Once and Always. Oh, I can tell that just from the martial arts style, now that you mention it. Aww. In a way, this is actually pretty sweet, knowing what m happens with men. Yes. Like this Try again. I also... I also just love watching her do martial arts, like, more in earnest again. Good to see a, an adult finally teach martial arts in the show. Trini, what is the most honorable tradition of Kung Fu? In Kung Fu, we always honor the tradition of the fair fight. Always face your opponent with equal numbers. Good. Now to help you master the praying method style. Bought the longest. Serve the mattis. Delicate, but powerful. Peaceful. Always ready to defend itself. If this was like a season ten years from now, <laughs> she that would she would get a mantis zord That's in this not. episode. <laughs> I mean, that, that'd be pretty cool, but I mean I a tiger's also pretty great. Sabertooth tiger is a lot cooler than a mantis. <laughs> Wait, did he say dope? Dopey. Oh, I was going to say, if it was dope, then they're ahead of their time. That cannot be comfortable to sit like that. No. I mean, not a bad plan. Have they already, like, managed... People who did martial arts before anyway. Yes, they, they have their own private ninjas. Let's go hunt for some bugs. <laughs> How cute. She wants to defend this kung fu. Rita has nothing better to do. <laughs> Finster. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh no, he's doing it now. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Trini is really looking good. And now she's been practicing really hard with Master Lee. Hmm, I wasn't talking about her karate, her um, kung fu, Kim. I mean, if Zach said that, it would make a lot more sense in relation <laughs> to once and always. Yeah. Fair enough. You have to work harder to perfect it. I'll keep at it, Master. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Trini. Oh, yuck. How can you stand to me near this thing? Huh? Oh, excellent example. <laughs> I love that it continues his trend of being afraid of insects. 
Whoa, double duty, math and kung fu homework. <laughs> this is really cool, but why did you choose to learn this new kung fu? I think the real reason I like it is that it emphasizes fairness. Honor of playing fair and never cheating in a competition. That's a real challenge to live up to. Aww. It's also a very weird thing to specialize in. It is, but I think it tracks for her, though. Yes, it's, ve it's very... I need to hear what's going on with this. <laughs> I love how she's just laughing it off. <laughs> yeah. Master, babe. Uh, I don't date bugs. <laughs> doesn't doesn't Kimberly have a boyfriend? Yeah, isn't that a little weird? Interesting. They're really <laughs> trying to fill air time in this episode. Love to see more, great. Great. What a waste. <laughs> Wait, oh, okay. It was some time later, I guess. Damn, Trini is looking good, like... Mm -hmm. She'll wreck you up. This is nice, because I feel like we also don't, like, see her, like, alone and, like, dealing with stuff a lot. Yes. Zordon, it's one of Rita's monsters. Alert the other Power Rangers. I shall, Trini. Be careful. I've got a more. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, Trini. <laughs> Hell yeah. Interesting. <laughs> oh, that was a nice little practical effect like that. Oh. <laughs> Straight up said you have no honor. Yeah. Disrespect. Ah, oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's actually smart because she's trying to weaponize the fact that Trini is trying to be honorable yes. against her because she sure as hell would never be. <laughs> Once again, Rita's being petty, and I love petty Rita. No. Yeah. Alpha, what information do we have regarding Rita's mantis? I'll punch it up on the viewing globe. Punch it up. <laughs> He's an expert at playing mantis kung fu. He's very dangerous. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. She's the kung fu expert. The mantis takes her out and is going to have an easier time with us. I'll put in some extra practice so the next time that mantis shows up, I'll be ready. I will nail him. <laughs> nail him. <laughs> Jason's like, and will nail He like <laughs> jumps into frame and will nail him. <laughs> Now's your chance to get Trini away from the others. Thanks, Ernie. Bye. <laughs> Who the hell was that? Another human being the talking. Worst dub actor. Wait, what? Ernie's like, oh. Trini. 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 <laughs> hey, Trini. <laughs> The sad thing is that's probably realistic. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go. 
Now what? It's easy. Just look at the bugs and do what they do. If I was Ernie, I'd get so mad that they brought cockroaches into my food establishment. Yeah. This, the, like, who's ever sound mixing, who's ever, like, doing the, like, background sound effects, <laughs> deserves a raise. Deserved a raise. <laughs> I was gonna say, I have a feeling they spent more money on that than many other production aspects. <laughs> you know aspects. Worth it. Oh, snap. Oh, you have no honor. This is so interesting, because, like, it's irrational for her to be worried about this, but it kind of just shows, like, this insecurity that, hey, a teenager would naturally have. Yeah. Hey, Ernie. Where's Trini? Yeah, she got the note and left. Thanks. Trini, meet me at the... For some special <laughs> the quarry. <laughs> why then? Why does why, why does he want to meet her at the one place we always fight? <laughs> read his monsters. Oh, she's like, catch these hands, Mantis. <laughs> the old is right over there. Let's go. You want action? A few putties should excite you. <laughs> Wait, what? Why, yeah. did, why does Squat have a freaking accordion? Because he does every once in a while. Combat. Some more Ron Wasserman jams. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Zach, what, just a battle cry? <laughs> Mantis doesn't have honor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Putties go though. She jumped over him. Wow, they really are useless. Yeah. That's cool. I think that's the first time we've seen her fight with one dagger. Yeah, like in general, we almost never see her fight with them anyway, so that's pretty cool. No, she throws them a lot. She okay. uses them to like fight. Well, like you said, probably less hand to hand. I love that has become like Kim's go to stance where she just like gracefully folds into that sitting pose. <laughs> like, that's pretty cool. And it's very reflective of Kimberly's graceful fighting style, mm -hmm. as opposed to, like, Jason, who's standard, like, fighting pose. They were all too busy just, like, beating the shit out of putties. They're like, oh, we've read about Treaty. <laughs> Guys, we gotta go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you had, you like, you don't even know what you had.
Yeah. I was just following your lead. Like, if this was, like, Power Rangers Wild Force, it'd be like, Whoa! An orb! What's in it? It's a mantis orb. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the streak continues where Kimberly does not follow suit. Yeah. No, it's actually less for you to mangle. Yeah. Is before you could have mangled five separate rangers, <laughs> and now you're mangling one Megazord. What's he doing? The Mantis will concentrate all his energies for a quick single blow. Let's do it! How does she know that? Well, she's a student of the Mantis Kung Fu. I the know. Mantis I... monsters using Mantis Kung Fu. Fair enough. I just kind of got to the point where this Mantis is clearly full of bullshit. Yeah. Wow. Guess you weren't ready for that. Why is Trini not driving? Like, it would have been cool if Jason was like, Trini, you should drive. Oh, it definitely would be, but have they done that once this whole season? Well, Zack did pilot, right? When Jason was, uh... Well, he was calling out, out commands, but he wasn't at the forefront. Ah, uh, yes, the Mantis Kung Fu style of sword. <laughs> yeah. Of power sword. I'm I'm starting to think this Mantis doesn't really know Kung Fu that well. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Let's take this book down. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nice. Hit him, hit him again. <laughs> yeah. And she didn't hit Finster. Entreaty, Good. You did the honorable thing. You tried to be fair. Things are done. It's not your fault, Rita Cheeks. At least all your practicing paid off. Hey, <laughs> we're teammates. We'll always be there to watch your back. Yikes. I know. You guys are the best. Besides, we show Rita we're not afraid of her big bug. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was really... And on the local front, Ugh. amazing heroes, the Power Rangers, have once again successfully defeated another attack on the city of Angel Grove yeah. by Rita Repulsa and her seemingly endless hordes of monsters. <laughs> <laughs> This is a lot to happen in one day, by the way. Since they're all still wearing the same outfits. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent work, Trini. Thank you, Master Lee. Practice makes perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, good job, Trini. <laughs> I feel like we're part of the crew. We're, like, behind <laughs> Billy and Kimberly. <laughs> We're just clapping. Oh my god. You know what you know what I just realized was this would be called, right? Uh, why? What? Kakfu. You know we need Or Roach Foo, I guess. <laughs> Not nearly as funny. It's actually pretty effective. And now, for our top secret, Roach Rendezvous. Cockroach power! <laughs> okay. Oh no! Ew, God. Well, Ernie's, Arnie needs to call an exterminator now. The Rangers are laughing. 
help. This is going to shut down the juice bar. <laughs> that was already in danger of being shut that down. That was more. getting sold two episodes ago. That was going out of business. Yay. They're like, ha, 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 ha. Those ha, idiots. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Zordon's in the commencement. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, my God. That would be the best <laughs> if just... in one episode, like, they're, like, laughing at Vulcan Skull like normal, and it just cuts to Alpha 5. Cuts Zordon, to Zordon and like, Alpha also ha, laughing. Like, ha, ha, ha. Creepily <laughs> laughing in the command center, oh. showing that they watch just as much as Rita and uh, her, or, her crew. Or even just cut to them laughing at them, because you, you have to think at this point, if Rita stalks them this much, she has to know who Bulk and Skull are. 100% she knows who Bulk and Skull are. <laughs> but at the same time, like, F, F, F Zorba. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, we got a lot to talk about this episode because this was a really good episode. Mm. Even though there was a ton of padding, y- yeah, we can't we can't deny the fact that they stretched the hell out of this episode. Besides that, all of the Trini stuff was yeah. really great. And not only does this inform her character so very much, mm-hmm. but I think I would say it's required reading. Like this episode is a, a must watch. If you haven't seen Once and Always yet, I would watch this. And if you've seen it, I'd come back and I'd watch this episode to kind of inform some of the things that happen in Once and Always. Yeah. Because, one, it's crazy because Charlie Kirsch posted a behind-the-scenes photo of her from a deleted scene where they had her, like, made up as Trini. And she was going to play a silhouette of Trini practicing the the Mantis-style kung fu. And she looks... (laughs) almost identical to training in this episode mm-hmm. and it's like spooky yeah like so like re- like that just wanted to point that out like it's crazy um two it i think if you watch this episode it will really help you especially for the people who complained about like men not listening i feel like this episode really informs a lot of men's decision making because she probably spent a lot of time with her mother studying mantis style kung fu which relies heavily on honor Mm -hmm. and like feeling the shame of like losing your honor or having your honor disrespected Mm -hmm. and her need to avenge her mother Mm because she felt like she needed to restore the honor of her family so i'm sure that weighed a lot very heavily on her decision making process throughout the special um which is really like a really nice bit of writing Mm -hmm. by uh Becca and Owen, especially like in when referencing this episode, it's I think it was really cool. Yeah, I mean that's what's so crazy is having seen the special first, seeing that like made me automatically feel more attached to this episode. Yes. Watching her actually demonstrate it and doing the similar moves that, that Min demonstrated in the special. So it's like, oh, in that regard, it made this it made me feel more excited watching this episode, it made me feel more invested. Inman and Trini both together. Absolutely. I love how this episode, I don't want to say introduces a third style of martial arts, really, but really focuses on martial arts the way that, like, we've gotten two episodes about the men that focus on martial arts. Like, Jason obviously studies yeah. uh, karate. Um, Zach has his hip hop keto, which is a blending of multiple martial arts and <laughs> dancing. Uh, and now Trini has yeah. Kung Fu. Well, I was going to say, and Tommy. And, well, Tommy, obviously, karate. And I guess Ninjutsu, <laughs> the both of them. Um, and Trini has Kung Fu, which is a really good development of her character from the pilot, where we see mm-hmm. her practicing a Tai Chi. Like, she's mm-hmm. practicing Tai Chi and the forms. And if she had a fighting style, I would, or if she had a martial art that she would want to invest time into, I would say that Kung Fu is definitely the way to go for her. Mm-hmm. It fits her style more. I also feel like I like the approach of this episode because, like I said, yeah, there's a lot of kind of ridiculous padding. The timeline is a little bit weird (laughs) if we're to assume this was all in literally just one day. But I think I like the seriousness to the approach it had. Like, there was that weird early episode where her uncle just shows up to, like, help Billy. And that's like, okay, that's a bit out there. Karate (laughs) science. Where in this one, it's, I feel like there was... I mean, it's Power Rangers, so I don't feel like anything is ever a disrespect per se, but I think there was respect put on the portrayal in this in terms of they showed her taking it seriously and being a diligent student, which which fits her character so well. And I think, 
espe- like all of them, I'm sure, do have that sense of honor, but it fits her especially well. Yes, because she's all about selflessness. She, more than any of the other rangers, embodies the quality of empathy and selflessness more than I think any of the other rangers. Because all the other rangers, like Trini, I would say, is the is the most compassionate. She's always focused on everyone else. Mm-hmm. The first couple of episodes alone show that she's constantly worried about Billy. Mm-hmm. She she literally got over her fear of heights to save Billy. Right. And I think she's the one that's also invested in harmony and peace the most. I mean, as kind of... Listen, still- Kimberly made a float for world peace. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very true, and I respect her a lot for it. Uh, but, like, I was going to say, like, as stupid as I think the gung-ho episode was, her heart was in the right place with what she was trying yes. to teach them. Yeah, gung-ho. Um, she's trying to teach them teamwork. And, yeah, Trini's just always putting herself in front of others. Uh, and that's what makes that line by Jason so, like, especially, like, chilling for me in retrospect. Is that he said, like, hey, we are always going to be, th- we're our team. We're always going to be there for you. Until, like, until whatever. Yeah. Until the end of time or the end. And I'm like, wow. Because now going back to one referencing once and always again to see where Trini ends up and to see how Trini sacrifices herself for her team, for Mm -hmm. Billy. It's almost like an inflection of that. It's like she is actually the one putting herself in front of her team. Like, Mm -hmm. she is the shield. And it's just... Man, it's just really good. We, I know, like, uh, it's just, it's, Trini, Trini's character arc makes a lot of sense in it linearly from this <laughs> to once and always. Mm-hmm. And I think watching this definitely informs what happens to the character and her family in once and always. Mm-hmm. Um, but, a, but besides that, a, a really great episode. About time we got another Trini like focused episode. I feel like we haven't gotten one in a very long time. No, definitely. Especially again, one that's this good and I think that we see a different side, but one that still is in character for her. And it's working off of things we've already established that felt genuine to her as a character. Absolutely. Um I don't know. I think I I think I've overprocessed my brain. I think I'm tapped out. <laughs> I'm also very much of the mind that I thought this was a very smart plan by Rita. Obviously, there was no honor involved in what she was trying to do. But I think the fact that she, again, was kind of preying on the insecurity of a teenager, we've already seen, like, has a bit of a PT, has developed a bit of PTSD from all of this with Rita. I think that was a weirdly smart plan, whether that was her intention or not. Yeah. Because, like, like, they were all saying in rebuttal to... Trini just like hating the fact that she was accused of not having honor. It's Rita. Like, who cares what they think? Just do what you can to beat her. But I think that's very realistic, though. Absolutely. It's almost especially of like evil of Rita to like watch the Rangers in their everyday lives and then take what they care about at that time and twist it against them. Yes. Like absolutely. she did that with Kimberly multiple times now. Mm-hmm. She did that with Trini. She did it with Zach with the insects, which I'm glad. Which I'm glad that <laughs> like that continuity is still here. Yeah, like that's really cool that they kept that thing going. Um, mm-hmm. she did it with Billy a bunch of times. She did it with Jason. Yeah, she's done with all of them. She definitely did it with Tommy. Definitely did it with Tommy. Probably more so than anybody. You mean wait? You mean Kimberly's boyfriend? Oh wait, I'm sorry. Who's he? Again? You mean Kimberly's boyfriend who we never see after the green candle? I know, that like Tommy I Oliver. Would, I know. I I guess we'll never see him again. Yes, I guess and, we def we definitely won't see him in potentially one week. I know, definitely. like he's never. It's not gonna be soon or anything. <laughs> we definitely we definitely won't see the return of an old friend anytime soon. Nope, no friends, new or old. Why why are you look why are you looking at them? They I, know why I'm looking at them. Why I, are you looking at them? Because I always mimic what you do if it looks cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> well, uh, I think after Nikki creeped you out, I think that'll be it. <laughs> um listen, we listen, we have our inside jokes, me and them. We know. Like they know when I'm talking to them. And you know when I'm talking to you. They know. You guys know. You know what I'm talking about. You know? I know. 
So if you guys like the video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest content. There's been a ton of Power Ranger news lately that we've been dying to talk about. All the stuff with Simon Bennett and Cosmic Fury. Uh, also, we want to. Nikki wants to talk about Time Force. So we are. We have live streams coming. We've just been a little bit busy, but yeah. um, we definitely want to get back to doing live streams. So keep posted to the channel. Make sure that notification bell is on because we will be doing one hopefully by the end of this week, and if mm -hmm. not next week. So make sure you have that notification bell on so you know when we're going live. And uh, until next time, guys. Stay versed and may the power protect you.